Hey beauties, good evening to you. All right, men, listen. There's something that you do not understand about women. And I'm going to try and see how much I can really expose and create an expository message for you. You see a woman who really means you well, she loves you, she cares about you, Genu genuinely wants to see the best for both of you in a relationship and for, you know she does everything to strive for growth and development let me tell you something you don't have to plead you don't have to beg you don't have to beseech almost going into fasting and prayer sort of a thing for her to submit to you as as she submit to god it will come naturally let me tell you something I heard Dr. the late great and venerable Dr. Maz Monroe, Monroe said something and I I actually more and more understand what he was saying. Now, you know, the Bible says if you don't work, you don't eat. You know, it's it's not good to have somebody lazy earning because they really will waste it. They won't be good stewards of it and they will take disadvantage of a situation. But he was saying women weren't designed to work. It really was men because women were designed to receive. Even when you look at it from a bodily or physiological perspective, the penis is inserted into the vagina. You know, she doesn't insert her vagina in a penis, if you understand what I mean. So um, with that reality, and you know, they say woman came from a man. If you give a woman, and this is somebody who is really looking for the relationship to go to higher heights and deeper depths. If you give her a hundred dollars, chances are she's gonna bring home two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. She's gonna do her best to multiply it. She may not do it in terms of cash, but she will do it in terms of allowing the family to survive and to more than survive and to do well. Women will multiply whatever you give to them. So if you find that she's multiplying a negative attitude towards your behavioral patterns, check what you're doing. Check how you're treating her. In First Peter 3, Peter was saying, Husbands, do not be harsh. Do not be bitter. Do not embitter. Do not be critical. Do not tear down. Do not verbally abuse. Do not physically abuse. Do not psychologically or sexually abuse or financially abuse your wives because your prayers will be hindered. Men, and this is for the men that it affects. Have you ever noticed that no matter what you try, nothing is working for you? And I'm not talking about there is a demon that is holding you back like a spirit of prevention. I'm talking about you are preventing your own selves because check because of how you're treating your woman, how you're treating, treating your children. Check it. Even if you have money, it's like you cannot be satisfied. You're unhappy. You're not. No matter what you're doing, you're wondering what the heck is happening. It's like you're a hamster in a hamster's wheel. It is because you're not treating your woman good. Even though Peter was directing that to the husbands, it goes for men in general. Any man that you find is ungentlemanlike towards women. Check their lives. They are the most unhappy human beings on the planet and things are just not working in their favor. Even if they have it financially, Remember, that's it. Not, finance is just a part of the prosperity saga, the prosperity element. When God says, above all things, I wish for you to prosper and your soul prospers. Prosper is talking not only financially, but mentally, psychologically, spiritually, physically. Some of you, are, you have a lot of ailments. Things start to go awry. You're not getting along with people. If you wonder, like you wonder if, you know, they have a saying that if they spat in the church, if they defecated in the church, and I'm saying it, you know, using decent language. Or you wonder what the heck is like your salt is like crosses on your big check how you're treating women. It has nothing to do with somebody probably obeying you. No, it has a lot to do with your actions. You can be embittered and or you are, you're bitter towards a woman, you're harsh. You, you speak very coarse and crude and you intimidate her with your harsh words. You say awful things. I know women are tend to be very lippy with their mouth. I heard a saying, you know, the grandmother said that a woman's words can cut deeper than a man's. Like you would say, than a gunshot. That's not how it goes, but it tantamounts to something like that. Like when women get awful with their words, it can be worse I don't remember how it goes. I'm just putting in gunshot. 
right? I know women can be like that. We're very lippy. I understand that. And we too have to work on that because the Bible similarly says that a man would rather to go into a sewer than to be around some a nagging wife. And it's awful being around a nagging woman. And I know what being around a nagging family member is like. It is not pretty. So I can imagine a man who men are generally not emotionally strong. In other words, we as women, we are not physically as strong as you generally but emotionally, we are tougher. We can take emotional trauma much better. That is why you have more mad men than mad women, you know, in the world all over. So men, do not embitter your wives, your girlfriends, your female friends. Do not be harsh with them. Be gentlemen. Men who are gentlemen tend to prosper in every way in their lives, even if things are tough in maybe financially. For a while it may be that way, but after a while it will pick up. God will just open his windows of blessings in and over their lives. When you feel like you can tell a woman any and everything as a man, what you're doing, you're saying, heavens, shut, shut your door. Shut your ears, God, to my prayer, to my prayers. That is exactly what you're doing. And the woman is not going to submit because women, when you try to browbeat them, especially a strong woman, a strong-willed woman, She's going to rebel. She's not going to feel inclined to submit to you because she's going to say, I can't submit to a dictatorial way, a sort of author uh, um, authoritative behavior. No, man, this is unhealthy. I don't want this for the rest of my life. I don't want to face something like this. You're coarse. You are not gentle. You can't even say soft words to her. You can't even say just the usual love language. Baby, I love you. I care about you. You don't practice to do that or say that. Similarly, physically, if you beat her up or you abuse her sexually, hold withhold finances, the Bible talks about the man not providing for their family, for their household. You're worse than an unbeliever. You know, you know what an unbeliever entails? Pedophiles, rapists, evil people. You're not, you're New York. The Bible says you're worse than that. That's what an unbeliever is. People who practice and live in sin, the rebellious. You see how God takes it? So when you feel that you're spiting a woman and doing all kinds of things to her, you're sowing seeds. What you're saying is, God, shut the heavens when I pray. Don't answer it. The number of men who are dead, if they could come back and tell some of you men, please don't do it. I made some mistakes and I suffered gravely, especially physically, as they get not even so old. Some of them do even reach three scores and ten, and then calamity suddenly strikes. It struck them suddenly without warning, and they suffer. And usually, it's the very same woman that they treated like crap turns around out of the goodness of her heart, helps the man, and sometimes he never recovers. Please, men, I'm simply saying to you, you treat the woman like a queen, you'll be treated like a king. God gave you, God made you first, and then the woman came from you. Based on God's laws and order, he's expecting you to lead. You can expect her to lead you. Lead her. Show her how you would want her to respect you. You show her respect. You show her love. You show her kindness. And honestly, some of the Jamaican men are mean and stingy and tan bad. I mean, not disrespecting, honestly. Because, every, you know, sometimes when, when we speak truth, people feel it's disrespect. No. Just people don't like to hear things that squeeze the coins that need to come from their toes and the bunions. On a mean, on a stingy, and an aggressive. The things that I hear you tell women. And you feel that your lives are going to be blessed. You really feel like God is hearing your prayers. Go and read First Peter chapter 3, verse 7. Your prayers are hindered. And it will stay that way. So all your seven, try your do you probably could have go, you could all go seek omens. Obey men little more. You think you can override God? It is like Balaam when that king came and said, Go and curse the Israelites. Balaam said, I can't do it. God says, You cannot curse what I've blessed. So all of the day seek a try to get yourselves out of the ditch. It's not working. Watch how you treat women. Watch it. You better, f you better find a way and ask God to help you to treat women with respect and love. Don't use and abuse them. It's not to your best interest. So all these men that take, take women and use them and please say, oh, life is sweet. Watch as time goes by. Hey, what sweet is certainly going to sour you. Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.